Hello everybody, today we're going to do the beginning of Calico Skies. Uh, we'll start just by running down the chords. Now because we are playing the chord of D in different places and the chord of G in different places, I'll assign numbers to them. Um, so we start with what I'm going to call the D3. We have an A3, G3, D2, G2, and good old fashioned D. So it just goes like that. D3, A3, G3, D2, G2, D. Um, okay, so I'll show you how to do those chords briefly. Um, we're going to be playing the bottom four strings only, from the D string down. Okay, to play our D3, we have a middle finger on the 11th fret on the G string, and we flatten this here index finger on the 10th fret over both the B string and the E string. Okay, so playing the bottom four strings only. That's our D3. Okay, to play an A3, we do exactly the same shape as our old friend D down here, except we're doing it up on the 9th fret. So index fingers, 9th fret G string, middle finger is 9th fret E string, and our ring finger here is in the 10th fret on the B string. Still plucking the D string down, just the bottom four strings. Cool, so that's D3, A3. To play our G3, we're just doing the exact same thing, two frets back. So we're now in the 7th fret. Index finger, 7th fret G string. Middle finger, 7th fret E string. And ring finger, 8th fret B string. Still playing the bottom four strings. So we have G3, A3, G3 like that. Cool, now we have our D2. This is the only one that's a different shape from all the rest. So it starts with our index finger on the 5th fret of the E string. Our middle finger is going to go in the 7th fret on the G string and our 4th finger is going to go in the 7th fret on the B string. So still playing all 4 bottom strings, D string down, there's our D2. Okay, D3, A3, G3, D2. Okay, and we have a G2, which is exactly the same shape as our D3 up here, but it's being played on the 3rd fret. So that means we have our middle finger on the 4th fret, G string, we have our index finger covering both of the B string and the E string in the 3rd fret. Just like that. Okay, so here we have D3, A3, G3, D2, G2, and finally our old friend D. So just for reminder's sake, that's index finger 2nd fret G string, middle finger 2nd fret E string, Ring finger, third fret, B string. Remember, we're just playing the bottom four strings. Okay, so the verse to the song is just a sequence of those chords going down. Okay. Okay. Now the actual strum for this song goes. our way up to that, um, first by just mastering the timing. So we're going to do all down strokes, and I've just allotted a certain number of strokes to each chord so we can get the rhythm going. Okay, so it's 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So you see we start on our D3, we play three of them. We play just one of the A3, then it's two of the G3. And then same pattern 3, 1, 2, except on the D2 we're playing three, and on our G2 we're playing one, Finally, on our old friend D, we're playing two. So it's always three, one, two, three, one, two. So we're going to do that in super slow motion, just a couple of times. Um, I'm going to count to three, and you'll count to three at the speed that we're going to be down strumming. So if I count one, two, three, it'll be one, two, three, just like that. Okay, so remember it'll be three on here. One, two, three, one, two. Super slow, and I'll go through twice. One, two, three. Two, three, now just one. Now two. One, two, three, now just one. And then two. Alright? Now that may not sound much like the song, but it is the basis of the rhythm. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to play that through a few times, and I'll just get a little bit faster each time. 
Yeah. So each time we get faster, we'll be getting closer to how it's actually played. Uh, so I reckon I'll go through four times, each time a little faster than the last. All right, here we go. One, two, three. a few times um, and if you find that you've got up to that speed quite easily I'm just going to do it through again same deal but I'll start at the pace that we left off and I'll move up a little bit faster each time so four times through and just increasing in pace each time so one two three Just for the sake of practice, I'm going to do it through four times in super slow motion, just so you can practice your steady rhythm as well. So, this one's nice and slow. One, two, three.